Mate, you've completely out fireworked me. Look at my pathetic attempt. <laughs> Look at that. Just turns into a ball of dust. I'd rather have a sparkler. <laughs> yeah, so I thought you could give me a get like show me about a little bit, show me what you've done, talk me through it. For from the perspective of a viewer, you know. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So you don't spawn here anymore. Okay. So that's a change. If you do slash spawn, it'll take you to where players now join the world. Oh. That didn't work. Oh dear. <laughs> I've been having problems with the server today. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I'll get that fixed. <laughs> oh! Oh, here we go. <laughs> that would be... Oh dear. Have we just had a server restart? Uh, no. The server room is on fire. Oops. Looking Welcome in. to Sky High Networks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had this problem before. It, I haven't touched nothing. There you go. This is where players will join. This is a castle. Yes. <gasps> Dudes. Yeah, these are all the people that have helped build it. Oh, awesome. So, so this is a monument to them. Yeah. That's really good. Give them credit. That's amazing. I don't know how to say the name. Yeah, no. <laughs> I will. Natura. Um, Fog. Satan the Dragon. And of course, Commander Fire himself. You're all awesome and thank you very much. Why am I there? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, still. Uh, I know. I, I, you should, I, be, I should be stood up the back or something. <laughs> bring in, bring in the tea while you were working. <laughs> I'll, out I'll that just, way, we've got gardens. I'll, I'll follow you in all. Going, yeah. If you go left, you've got a lovely little garden. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. See, we've got chairs. Yeah. Nice, nice use of anvil. That was done by Satan the Dragon, not me. Well, well done, well done, Satan. Yeah. But but players that have just joined will probably just walk through here. I put signs up with helpful tips on what to do. Nice. Although, don't actually do that command yet. <laughs> or this command. Until I've fixed it. This is brilliant. And then you're taken out to the courtyard. Look at the size of the flag. There's like multiple floors. There's three floors. Going up. The if you want to go up. Furnished. Yeah. Everywhere you can see, you can go in this place. Quite simply ridiculous. This is an unfurnished room. But... Oh. Store cupboard. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> It's a bit of a labyrinth, so you will get lost. It's the third floor that's been mostly furnished. Nice. So I think this is the room you were just looking in. Wait, oh. wait, where'd you go? Uh, up the stairs. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is an overview of the throne room. It's immense. It's just stuff everywhere. You can get to everywhere pretty easily. There's a staircase that goes down the side of... Or you could jump off. <laughs> <laughs> that works as well. I'm, I'm following. I'm following with jaw dropped. This this bit. How? This took an age. How do you even do that, though? Uh, using lots of armor stands. Awful lot of armor stands. But uh, yeah, how do you get the swords to go? Like I don't even. I, I that yeah, it just makes no sense to me. The armor stand is actually holding the swords. So ah, you can so just they're invisible. The arms. Yeah. You can set the armor stand to be invisible. Right. Oh, I know. Though it looks like they're just standing there. Yeah. You carry on walking out as you were a player, and you get to the peasant's house. <laughs> Damn peasants! Uh, I will admit, like, this could be a bit better signposted. 
all the interior of the houses are the same, but we'll change that eventually. <laughs> Keep following the path round and you'll get to a cross section. And the shop is straight out through there. And the market is to the left. I still have to add the sign. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go market. Alright. Just follow the path round. And you'll go through another wall of segregation. And you'll enter the market. Apples and pears. And this is also the portal which teleports you randomly in the world. Oh, okay. I won't jump in there just now. Yeah. However tempting it is. I was actually running forwards and I thought, no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, I don't think that will break the server. Oh, I know, but I'd be randomly teleported somewhere in the world. <laughs> That's true. I can so, see yeah. ships and stuff and a lighthouse. Yes. So this is the market for now. It's got stalls everywhere and over here it's got a, I was about to say a small pub, but it's quite a big pub. <laughs> I think this is the second biggest building here. Oh, ye oldie boozer. Yep, it's just got a map of the area and everything. Although unfortunately, because maps are a bit strange. Yeah. We are here. Yes. Yeah. You carry on going through all the, all the stalls and everything, and then you get to the docks. Yeah, this is ridiculous as well. <laughs> <laughs> bit, <laughs> bit worn down, but that's sort of the point. Hey, it's a dock, innit? Exactly. It's in constant use. And it's got a bunch of fishing boats and a massive galleon. Which you can't actually get to. Oh. I beg to unless, differ. Unless you fly. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It's like fully furnished. <laughs> I thought you couldn't get to it because you'd kind of done the outside. The whole thing is done. Everything's done, mostly. Also added a forest around everywhere. Instead <laughs> of it just being flat grass. As you do. Just, oh, yeah. just, just stuck one in, you know? Yeah, just out of forest. Because you've had loads of spare time in between building a world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on the boat. Oh, my God. I think hide and seek is going to be the game of the day. Oops. After oh, okay. you. So, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the spawn. And it's just the shop and... And that's it. Wow. That's a very quick overview of it. Very quick. You, you could spend a couple of hours mooching about, exploring here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. If you go back to that cross section, you'll I'm there. Shop, shop this way. Uh, might want to fly because it is quite a long walk. you got the bridge, which surprisingly didn't take as long as I thought it would. Looks cool as chips, though. Mm. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It was hard to picture it when it was just like the guts, like the bare bones. Yeah. Uh, then, you just, then you've got a lovely path going through the woods until you get to the shop. Not even I could get lost going this way. Exactly, just follow the path. Well, I probably could. Right, now you could go down there. It's still a long way. <laughs> yeah, this is a trek. We might have to put a bench or something about halfway down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing but... is, I built the shop, then I built the entrance. <laughs> Maybe a vending machine or something. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's the shop. Right click them to get the shop window open. There we go. Buy all the things. Exactly. 
people. I did actually build an auction room, but it comes nowhere near the standard required by Command of Fire <laughs> to make an entrance into the server. So, <laughs> there are rigorous quality control systems that need to be undertaken, and I fall far from the mark. It was it was all right. <laughs> Yeah, you're the only person that can say that was all right and make me feel like a five-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, it's like patting me on the head after you've said it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it in that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but then when I see what you've built, I was really proud of it, and then I see something like this, and I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, um, I need to go back to school. <laughs> I did have a couple of incidents with people just jumping off into the lava. Why? And I, I, I just figured, yeah, we're not having that. Ah. Invisible blocks up. Nice. I mean, I am planning on making a bunch of tutorial videos to show how certain plugins work. Oh, nice. Like the shop plugin. Yeah. So players can make their own shops and the auction plugin and all of that stuff. Oh, Predator's back. <laughs> You're just flying around in circles. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, CT has done all of this. I, as everybody knows, I'm a proper Minecraft noob. I just said, would you please help me build a server? And he went, yeah, okay. And then he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Yeah, just the amount of work you put in is ridiculous. You built a world. <laughs> It's fun. Just imagine the thousands of people that are going to appreciate your work. It is a lovely feeling knowing that people will actually get on and see it. Yeah. In, like, a couple of days. Yeah. If, Three days. Well, two days in a bit. Yeah. If they don't explode when they, before, when they spawn. Oh, yeah. I mean, I might set something like that up. The first five people. Well, I think we've kind of set it up already by accident, haven't we? We just the server room. We yeah. Fire. I don't. I don't know what's going on at all. You are command of fire, the god, the creator of things. <laughs> there, have a firework in your honour. Have some more. Even his fireworks are better than mine. Disgust me. He's, he's just going to quickly code it from scratch. There you go. <laughs> See, you know what I mean. I will reiterate to everybody that it is a, it is a family safe server, so yes. both kids and adults alike can come on and enjoy themselves. If you get any grief, just obviously speak to me or CT or any other admins, and we will square it away. Look at him, Addy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop the, the janitor king. <laughs> Well, people, this this is going to be so much fun. This is what you've got to look forward to. And this is only the blooming spawn area. This is just going to grow and grow with your help. And obviously CTs as well. I can't wait to see you all on here. Neither can command the fire. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait for opening night. It's going to be cake. Lots cake. of cake. <laughs> I love the cake. And, and fireworks. fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we hope to see you all there, people. This is it. The IP address is well, okay. The the IP name is in is in the description. We don't even use an IP address anymore. Command the fires. Huh? Just like he's, he's got his own, you know. Got it sorted. Yeah, got it sorted. Squared away, Bosch. <laughs> yeah, get it in there. Get it ready to go. I'll put out a community message when the server's going open. We'll stick it on Discord. We'll stick it everywhere. Don't forget to join the Minecraft Discord as well. Obviously made by Commander Fire himself. There will also be a link for that in the description. We hope to see you soon. Again, thank you so much, Commander Fire and the people who helped CT build the server as well. It's quite all right. Amazing. We'll see you in there, everybody. Laters. Bye-bye.
Thank you.